Hey, what's up guys? Emmanuel here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your old toilet kit. The whole thing right here, uh, sometimes you got a running water and uh, water won't stop running through the toilet for some reason. And uh, also it could be uh, this rubber right here, sometimes the old. Uh, it could be sometimes the chain gets stuck right there. And then it left this open and the water keep running out. But my situation is that the whole unit right here is super old. As you can see in the in the tank, there's so many uh, 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 dirt. I'm gonna take it out and then rinse in it and then get rid of all the rusted things that you see in there so it won't affect my new kit from working properly. So if you're trying to replace your entire toilet kit, make sure you clean in your toilet tank to get rid of all that piece of metal and all that rusty stuff. So it won't go back into your new installation so you can have something rolling good. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to replace this. This is one of the best units that I uh, got from Home Depot so far. It seems to work pretty good for me. I have three bathrooms in my house and I already replaced two. This is the third one. This is my kid bathroom and I'm about to replace that right now. It's kind of late night. They're, they're all sleeping. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna need a bathroom for a while. So I'm gonna do it while they are sleeping. All right, so what we're gonna do here, as you see, I already removed the, the tank cover. What we're gonna do here, first thing guys, you need a bucket, all right? A little short bucket that you can put right underneath them. You first need to shut off the water so water won't refill the tank. And you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. Oh, you see the 14 millimeter in order to hold the, the little, there's a ball right here, if you can see here, uh, that right there. I, I hope you can see that. So a 14 millimeter or a plier, any kind of wrench or plier to hold there while you can untie that from inside with the flat hair screwdriver, okay? So these are the two we're gonna need. We need a flat hair screwdriver, the 14 millimeter to hold it from the bottom. Make sure you shut off the water. And once you shut off the water, this is what we're gonna do, guys, all right? All righty. So let's get the camera focused right here. And you guys gonna see what I'll be doing here. I will be uh, 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 taking this apart. And this is why we need um, we need a bucket because the, the leftover water in the tank is gonna come right in the bucket, all right? So, let us take a couple turns. I hope you guys see what I'm doing, all right? Once you got this out, take it out right now, there's no water. Okay, why there's no water, guys? It's because we uh, we still gonna need, uh, how you call this? Um, we still gonna need to, uh, as you guys see right there, we're gonna need to untie that and take it apart. Sometimes it get pretty tight. You might have to like hit it a little bit with your flathead screwdriver from the other side to untie that. All right. You see, as you can see, it's moving, right, guys? All right. Or if you have like a a plier or something, because this thing's been here for a decade, so it gets super tight. You want to be able to hit it with something or if you got a big plier. Once I get this off and I push this in, you're going to see uh, all the water in the tank going to start coming out. So let me hurry up here to speed up the video. Alrighty. I hope you guys see what's going on there. So take this off. Then as you see right there, guy, I'm gonna pull that up, and there we go. That's why you need a bucket right there, guys. All right. All right. Now we have the we have the unit taken apart. We're gonna fold it. You know, take it apart here. This is actually junk, all right? It got so many rust in it right now, it's not working right. So we're gonna throw this away, but for now, I'm just gonna put it right down there. So once we got that off, you see the chain, we just gonna push it right here and take it out of there, all right? Hope you guys see what I'm doing because the camera's going on here, so bear with me, all right, guys? So now, this is what we're gonna need, guys. We're gonna need our flathead screwdriver, 
to, to hold it for the top here. You see right here, put the flathead screwdriver here. But in the other hand, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need your 14 millimeter down there in order to, so this thing will keep rolling on you, all right? Sometimes it works pretty good, but just in case you, you're you not getting it out, then you're gonna need a 14 millimeter down there in order to prevent the, the bowl from rolling on you, all right? So let me get that taken care of and I get right to you. All right guys, so now I have the whole thing taken apart. I'm gonna hurry up and, cause it's really hard to, this is what I'm talking about here. Uh, as you see right there, all right? We gotta take it apart. And there's two, one over here. We're gonna take it out. And remember guys, this two bowl right here are the one that holding your tank. So once you take this off, be very careful not to push your tank any harder. So otherwise it's gonna come right down and you're gonna have a broken tank. All right, so just so you know that. So when we get that out, we have full control of the tank. All right, now let's try to empty that out and we're gonna turn the tank upside down very slowly. You gotta be very careful while you're doing that. If you want, you can find like an old rag or something. Uh, just so that, uh, you know, you're not gonna hit your tank too hard. So what we're gonna do is remove that black gasket right there. If it's too tight, then you need your flat screwdriver to take it out. Once you take it out, drop it on the floor. And this right here, sometimes it gets super tight and you might try to hit it a little bit with the screwdriver, but in this case, it seems just fine, all right? We are going to take it out. Alrighty, once we get this fully disconnected, uh, the tank should be, yep, tank is completely empty. The only thing we have in this tank right now is the handle. We're gonna leave the handle there because we're gonna need it, alrighty guys? So, this is the old unit right here. As you see right here, sometimes this rubber gets super old. You might get a water leak, or sometimes this thing gets super old, then it might keep running water. There's so many reasons why, but these are like super old system, as you see how old they are, all right, guys? So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is to kind of clean in the tank, like I told you earlier. So once I'm done that, I'm gonna get right back to you guys. Okay guys, now that I'm done cleaning the tank, uh, I got rid of all the rusty stuff, it's now time to reinstall the new kit, okay? So I'm gonna open the new kit right here, as you see, uh, you gotta be super careful. Uh, I hope you guys see what I'm doing here. Uh, like I said, this, this is one of, the, one of the best system at Home Depot right now. Uh, so you gotta hold on to every single one of these. I'm gonna put that on this on the table right there and get rid of all this stuff right here. So guys, we're gonna first install this piece right here, alrighty? So I'm gonna put this to the side for now. And uh, yeah, pretty much. So this is how you do this right here. I hope you got to see in the tank. This right here needs to face like that. All right, you need to be facing just like this and make sure the, the red valve still right on there, all right? So it be facing just like this, all right? Then we're gonna grab the, the thing and we're gonna tighten it down. It might be somewhere here in the bag. All right. All right, so that's right here. I hope you guys see that. So we're gonna take this from the bag. To, to tighten, all right, this right here. So we're gonna hold on to this guy. We're gonna need that for the for the water hose, all right? So then we're gonna, we're gonna flip this to the side, just like this. I hope you guys seen it. At the same time, holding to this, all right? Then as you see here on the side, this is how we're gonna put this on. 
and tighten it down just like this. So easy. Put a little bit of pressure on it. All right, tight it pretty good. Uh, like I said, you want to make sure that uh, it's lined up just like this in it, as you see in a tank there, just like this. All right, so once you do that, then we're gonna give it a pretty good hand tight from the back here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Once that's tight, we're gonna set that to the side and and then do the other guy. You gotta be super careful with these things. So now we have like uh, the, uh, uh, this right here, we're gonna connect that, all right? So the cobble piece right here gonna be underneath the tank, all right guys? So this also have to be facing this guy right here, just like that. I'm gonna put that in for a minute and show you guys. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay the tank like this. Be super careful, guys. And if you don't mind, for the video purpose, I'm gonna flip it around so you guys see what I'm doing here. All right, so the cobble or ring is gonna go right on top here. I'm holding to this because I don't wanna let that go, it's gonna fall right back in. Then this right here gonna be facing down right there. All right. I don't know if it's gonna allow <laughs> me to. Uh, there we go. I think it's uh, it's working so far. There we go. There we go. All right. Once we got it like this, we're gonna flip it out. Like I said, you gotta be super careful while you're doing that because you gotta be able to do the adjustment here. All right. So what we're gonna do here. You see those two holes, we gotta leave a room for that. So we're gonna tilt this to the side just a little. I hope you guys see what I'm doing, right? So we get the, the hole right there so we can be able to use the screwdriver. So we're gonna tilt this to the side just a little, just like that. Then we tie it pretty good for the outside. When I mean outside, it's the one we were just working on. Alrighty guys, so that's just like that. So I'm gonna give it a pretty good tie and then uh, if you don't tie it pretty good, you're gonna get a water leak, guys. Alrighty. There we go. So once this is tight, guys, we're gonna do another upside down flip. Alrighty. Then we're gonna grab the this uh big rubber thing over here. This is the one that I like the, the water that you're flushing not to come out so we're gonna line that up you know with this thing right here so you see every every one of these things right here need to be placing in one of that hole so we're gonna line it pretty good and make it go in just like that all right make sure you press it pretty good to go in if it's not you're not gonna get a good seal guys so once we have it just like this we're gonna turn it sorry we're gonna turn it around and set it right there all right, we're gonna set it down just like that. All right, then once we have it set it down just like that, then we're gonna grab the, all right, we're just gonna leave it just like this for now. Then we're grabbing these guys right here. We're gonna use that to attach the, the tank to the toilet. All right, hope you guys seen this. So this rubber or uh, uh, rubber, all rings gonna come right on top. This is the one that go in the tank. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing to the to the other one. All right, they give you an extra, just like that, just like that. If it wasn't for the video thing, I'm already done with these things. It's very easy to do. So when we have that, we're gonna grab two of these. I hope you guys see that. We're gonna grab two of these nuts right here, and then uh, two or ring, all right? That's for the outside. So this extra, we're gonna put it to the side. Alrighty guys. So I'm gonna put this first one here, right in, right in here, and I will come back with the camera and show you guys how that go there. Alrighty. Okay, 
It's outside here. It's outside. So there we go. All right. Hope you guys see what's going on here. Let me get the camera out here. If some part of this video is super long, you guys can skip that. You see, this is this is what it's gonna look like, guys. You see that is facing right there. So I can lift this up and put my flat screwdriver right on it, and then tie it in the other one right there. So now I'm gonna use this right here to tighten it from down. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys see what is going on here. I'll be able to show you guys that. If not, good. All right. So. We're gonna first have the the washer in this position. I hope you guys see just like this, and then put it right here. Hope you guys see that. Uh, there we go. Then, oh, oh okay. They get a little challenging right now. I got the camera on my way and all that, but uh, we just do what I gotta do. Make sure you guys know what's going on here. Uh, Oh, God. All right. Line up again. Come on, honey. You gotta go in here. All right. Just like that, guys. I hope you guys see what's going on there. All right. Once we get it close like this, we're gonna leave it like this and do the do the other side. Cause we wanna make sure we got everything on it before we start it tight it down. All right. So the same thing for for the other guy just like this alrighty then we gotta do it on the other side so you're gonna press from inside and then put it right in there that's just simple uh, let's see if I can get the camera on the other side to see if we got see what I'm doing here alrighty that's it right there all right all right, so once I have it like that, then I'm going to grab my flat screwdrivers and put it inside here and press against that. And then my uh, my 14 millimeter and tighten it down. All righty guys. So let's see here, you see, just like that, if you like. You can do it from, uh, all right, it's still losing here. So, let's see what we got, guys. All right, they're all in there, pretty good. All right, guys, I have to pull the camera a little bit away from me just to get more room to, to be able to work. So I hope you guys see what I'm gonna be doing down there. Alrighty, so like I said, uh, my 14 millimeter gonna be down, and my flathead screwdriver is gonna be right inside here. I'm gonna hold my flathead screwdriver and use my 14 millimeter. It's pretty easy when you have the a wrench like this. All right, do not over tight one side. You want to go at the same time on the other side. Make sure they go, both of them go down evenly. All right, guys? So you don't want to over tight the other side. It's a little rough because I have the holes on my way. So it's gonna make a little tough for me. And just so you know, guys, you cannot over tie these things so you're not gonna break it. So you gotta be super careful how you tighten it, okay, guys? All right, 
So now we have this tank, and I'm gonna do a little bit more adjustment here too. Make sure they're, they're all even. There we go. Alrighty. Now it's fully secure. We're gonna put down this and then do the connection, guys. All right. So this is the water hose, guys. All right. So what we're gonna do here is the water hose. We're gonna connect this. Hope. Oh, let me see. We're gonna connect this right into the black water hose. Push it right in. If you don't mind, you can put on gloves so. You don't have to cut yourself with a piece of metal. All right, but this won't be the big deal. Oh, sorry. So push it all the way in, just like that. All right, guys. Once you have this folded in just like this, then we're gonna get try to get the camera a little closer so you guys see what is going on here. All right. So once it's like that, this right here, we're gonna connect that to to that little valve right there. I hope you guys see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna connect this right here. You gotta be super careful, not too much pressure. All right. Then once you do that, you're gonna untie this right here and adjust the water level thing and then tighten it down. All right, and uh, get this just like this right into this. Alrighty. Uh, tough to get in, huh? Come on, play boy. Uh, Alright, guys. There we go. Alright. Once we have that, we're gonna adjust it just like that. Just like this. I hope you guys see what it looks like right now, right? All right. So we have it just like that. Then we're gonna tighten this down so it stays up. And what we're gonna do next, guys, is to go down there and do the water connection just the way we took it out, all righty? Sorry. All right, now we're gonna do the water connection here. Connect the water hose right back to the tank. All righty. As you see the water hose here, we're gonna connect it right back to the tank. So, hope you guys see that. All right, this is just an easy thing. If I wasn't making videos, guys, I'm 40 done with this really long time ago. All right, so once you do that, Make sure it's pretty tight. Alrighty. Once you're done there, you can turn your water right back on. So now we're done there, guys. We're done there. Then we can turn the water right back on. Alright. Alright. Now you see the water shooting right in there. Alright. So what we're gonna do next, guys, is to um to adjust the, the chain right to the, let me see if I can get the camera closer, follow me. All right guys, now as the tank is filling up, we are going to, to get the, the chain. And one of the big reasons why people are losing water is when you're doing the chain, you wanna make sure that the chain, adjust the chain in a way that it's not gonna have a lot of leftover. When I mean leftover, and then every time you flush, the chain is gonna go underneath the thing. So I'm gonna adjust the chain. It's totally up to you the way you want to do it. That's like not something that require any skill at all. So adjust the chain. Make sure the chain is not super long. Then we're gonna put it to where we want it. And uh, this is one of the trickiest part right there. All right, now we have the chain adjuster in the thing. Let me see if I can get the camera closer there so you guys see what I'm talking about here. 
a little bit. All right, guys. All right. As you see here, I have the chain adjust in a way that, and it's not going to, every time you flush, it's not going to go underneath that red thing right there. So every time you flush, if your chain have too much left over, it's gonna go underneath there and leave a, 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 a space for the water to keep running down into the toilet. You're gonna be losing water. So in this case, I have to change to what I want it. If you think it's too long, you can also adjust that. So let's take a quick flush and see what we got. All right, so one thing you need to know about, about uh, the water level, uh, 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 about the what? sorry guys, I have some. Uh, one thing you need to know about the water level, uh, in order to have, to, to get more water flushing down the toilet, you can do the adjustment right there. So before you do that adjustment, you want to shut off the water and, and, and give it a flush. So I'm gonna shut off the water and then I'm gonna flush it out. All right. So if you see right here, I hope you guys see what I'm talking about. You're gonna see a couple numbers there. This is this might be on number three. So you have to be able to line up with right here. You see right here. So if you turn this around to number four, all right, it gives you more water into the tank. I hope you guys see what I'm doing right here. Hold on a second. Let me do some little adjustment right here. There we go. All right. So here we have, we have it on number four. This is number four, right? Yeah, number four. Make sure your number is lining up with the, uh, well, you see that little thing right there, that little mark right there. Make sure your number is lining up with that, all right? So the more number you got, the more water gonna go down to the toilet. Uh, the more this thing's gonna stay open every time you flush it, it's gonna stay open for a long time so the water could go down. So the less number you got, the less this thing's gonna stay open. All right, so it means if you got it to number two or number three, every time you flush it, it go down really quick because you need less water. So if you have it to number four, every time you flush, you can even go to number five, all right? Then every time you flush that, it's gonna stay open for a really long time. So I try to keep it to number four. Number four is pretty good enough. So we're gonna turn the water back on and then refill this and see how. And like I said, one thing I liked about this new system, it filled up pretty quick. I'm gonna do some uh, some uh, some adjustment right here. All right, this is just to show you how to install the whole system. Once this is full, I'm gonna do some adjustment down later. So I don't want the video to be super long. I uh, appreciate your time so far, you know, dealing with all my shitty videos, but at least you can learn something from that, all right? It's super hot right now in the bathroom. I close the door just to keep the noise to myself. And uh, let's see what we got here. All right, these things I really like it. It's not like the, it's not like the, like the old one. As you see, the old one right here, the, the more water come in, this thing is gonna push up and then lock the water. Uh, uh, stop the water from 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 filling up you see that so this is like so sometimes when you have too many dirt in the toilet this things get actually stuck in a way that it stop it from working properly i don't i can't give you more answer on that i just going to tell you this thing right here it got i don't know it's just a little bit of ball right there like uh, i don't know what kind of ball but it's it's just like the water level thing that's actually stopped the water from coming back in the, in the tank. So let's flush that and see how long this thing is gonna stay open, all right? As you see there, you see how long it stay open? So that right there will give you more flush. It's way enough to, uh, to flush everything you have down in the toilet. So that's pretty much how you do the, your toilet kit. 
installation. So in this case, guys, I am going to replace my toilet cover because I am done. I am done right here. So let's see. Now I got so much mess over there. I'm gonna clean it later. That's from the the toilet. And also gonna clean the floor. So let's flush and see. That's it. So we done. We just fixed that even though the video says 30 minutes, but actually if I'm not doing any videos, distance right here in less than 30 minutes to get it done. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, once again, it's Emmanuel. By subscribing to my channel, you got a lot of how to do stuff. I do a lot of work on the car. I have a Toyota Highlander and the Honda I call. I do all kinds of servicing on the car and I post that right on this channel. So consider subscribing. If I get any little video, I will post the rest on the channel, guys. So stay safe, my friend. God bless you.